There you go. All right, guys. So what life lesson did she learn? Teacher, sorry, I haven't finished. Okay. Only three minutes more. <laughs> what? Three minutes more. Thirty? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, it's okay. Hi, Denia. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. To learn that every person is important. That every person is important? What do you think, Natividad? What do you think, Maria? The same teacher. You didn't know the name of the woman who cleaned the lecture hall. Guys, what do you think? Natividad, Maria Fernanda? Uh, I learned that sometimes you don't care about important mm. things. Like we don't um, we don't notice maybe that we can be more polite uh, with some people that we are used to see and we we don't know their name, even if we see them like frequently okay very good now natividad i think uh, the lesson is we should be polite with everyone with very everyone. good what do you think the professor said What can you imagine that going to need? You're going to need help for everyone, by everyone. All right, let's listen and check what did the professor say. Living and learning, an important life lesson, May 10th. 11, 13, 48 p.m. by Lorena. I've learned many things in life, but this is one lesson I learned early on. I hope it makes you think. Toward the end of my last semester in college, our ethics professor gave us a test. He had told us to expect one, 
and had warned us it would count toward our final grade. I had been struggling with the class all semester because I'd missed a number of classes and I'd fallen behind on my work. But by the day of the test, I had caught up on all the work and I felt pretty confident. Sure enough, 40 minutes into the test, I had finished all the questions except the very last one. What is the name of the woman who cleans the lecture hall? I thought it was a joke. I'd seen the woman many times. She was short, with dark hair, in her fifties, and she'd been working in the building for at least a year. We'd even smiled at each other once or twice. But I didn't know her name, because I'd never thought to ask her. I turned in my test and left the last question blank, hoping I wouldn't get penalized too badly for it. But then one student raised his hand. He hadn't finished the test either. I'm just wondering, he said and paused. Will it really affect my grade if I don't complete that last question? Our professor smiled. Absolutely, he said. In your careers, there will be many people who help you. They are all important. At the very least, you should know their names. I've never forgotten that lesson. I also learned that the janitor's name was Sherry. What do you think of the story, guys? So the teacher, um, uh, the lesson of, of the teacher is uh, that um, the old people, uh, old people is important, and um, no, um, it's important, and um, all professions. Professions. All profession and or, or jobs. All, all profession or, or or all all jobs on the in the in this case in the in the university in school in the college. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Lorena uh, learned that. She um she showed to know uh, uh all people that are working in there. Thank you, Manuel. Let's take a uh, uh, more comments from your classmates, guys. What did the professor say? He said that in your careers will be a, a, there will be a lot of people, something like that, and that every person is important. I don't right. remember the exactly words. Okay, one more time, please. In your careers, there will be a lot of people. Uh huh. Continue. And every person is important. Is that it? I think I don't remember. All right, let's listen to the last message again. Mild. Absolutely, he said. In your careers, there will be many people who help you. They are all important. At the very least, you should know their names. All right, so in your careers, there will be All right, let's take a look at what the lady said. I'll show you the answer. There will be many people who help you. They are all important. At the very least, you should know their names. Yes? Okay. Now, I want you to look at the next question. Can you read, please, Natividad? I can't hear you, Natividad. The question? Yes. 
reading of the professor's response. What do you think? All right. All right, let's go, guys. You hear me? The, I didn't hear you, no. no. But let's go in sessions. Let's go to your rooms, your breakout rooms, and ask and answer the question. The slide is on the WhatsApp group. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, did you finish all your questions? No, all your answers? Just, just. Yes. Very good. Now we can. Now prepare answers to the questions. Give reasons using expressions from the story. What? Why was the ethics test an important one? Do you remember, guys? What was? Yeah. Why was the ethics test an important one? You don't remember? It's okay. Let's go for number two. What was Lorena's experience with her ethics class? Um, because maybe she didn't. Uh, she didn't think that every people is important. But what was Lorena's experience with her ethics class? Um, I don't That's know okay. if it is correct, yeah. like reflexive, or how what? can I say ref reflexiva? Like reflexive? the class reflexive. Okay, the uh, that class or well that exam was uh, reflexive. Yes, yeah, that's good. Uh, what problem oh. did she have with the test? She had the problem with the last question, la, the question that was asking the name of the girl. Uh huh. Why was she concerned that she would get penalized? She didn't finish the test. She didn't no. finish. Yeah. How did the professor answer the student who raised his hand? Okay, now this is the story. Here are the questions. One, two, three, four, and five. And this is the story. Now let's let's check number one. Why was her ethics test an important one? Let's look for the keywords. Uh, the test gave us a test there. Now he had told us to expect one and had warned us it would count toward our final grade. That one. So what is the answer for the question? Why was the ethics test an important one? It was important because it was going to count toward or toward because uh, it okay. it would continue. It would count toward the final grade. Final grade. There, it will count on their final grade. Like that, guys. Continue the other questions. Two, three, four, and five. Work as a team. Talk to each other. Ask and answer, guys, okay?
Uh, do you want, do you think it's enough three minutes? Are three minutes enough? Yeah. Perfect. Begin, please. Don't forget to work with each other as a team. Okay. Number so... two, what was Lorena's experience with her ethics class? Well, I said reflexive because I think that um, most of the people forget like the that is special or well the those little details about about life like you don't pay attention to important things like knowing the the name of people that is around you i i think that but we have to look for the answer in in the history no I'm sorry, I didn't know. I thought that it was our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yes. Okay. Um, but I think that the, the three uh, question is this. Is this one? I was running experience with her ethics class. Oh, what the problem did she have with the test? Struggling with the class. Yeah, struggling with the class. Like I have been struggling with the class all semester. That was the her experience. Because she missed a lot of classes just by me. <laughs> Why was it, why was she concerned um, that she will penal, penal, get penalized? Maybe. Yes, uh, um, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, sorry. Maybe the number four, it could be um, that she missed a number of classes and I falling behind my work because she was worried. She thought that she was going to have some problems because she missed the classes. But at the end, she didn't have those problems. But also, it could be the, that she didn't finish the, her exam. I think the, the uh, why? Why was she concerned that she would get penalized? Um, I think uh, she mm, she don't uh, she she didn't um, uh, uh, give the uh, um, uh, the important uh, thing that the this question. Uh, I think um, it's it's okay. Just is a one question, you know. It's just is a one question. So she, uh, she, she don't um, she didn't put um, uh, like um, an an important grade for the the last question. Okay, so you mean that the answer is I don't complete the last question? I don't okay. care. Yeah, yeah, really. I think. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm, okay, it's because I'm between those like those answers, but it's okay. Uh, okay, the last one it says, "How did the professor answer the student who raised his hand?" Mm. Is the phrase who is the phrase we we saw? No, is and there will be I don't know exactly. 
the, the teacher uh, put the phrase in the, in the screen. Remember that? Hi guys. Uh, there, Are you okay? There will be there will be uh, many people. I don't remember exactly. All right. So let's see your answers, guys. What was Lorena's experience with her ethics class? What is your answer? She had been struggling with the class. Yeah. One more time. She continue. She had been struggling. Half. She had. Had. Yeah. Been struggling. With a class all semester. She had been struggling. Oh my gosh. There you go. Very good. Number three. What problem did she have with the test? She didn't know the the name of the woman. She didn't know. That's incorrect, know. Mister. No. She didn't know what. He didn't know the name of the woman who cleaned the lecture hall. But how is that connected to the test? Um, what problem did she it have? It was the last question. So she didn't know? She didn't know the last question of the test. The last question? Yes. What did she didn't know about, about the test? She didn't know. Mm -hmm. Tell me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, help. She didn't know the answer to the last question. The last question. Oh, okay. I think that she thought this was a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was a joke, but the problem is she didn't know the answer. Correct? She didn't know the answer to the last question. To the last question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Next, number four. Why was she concerned that she would get penalized? Because uh, she she um she didn't. She didn't, she didn't think uh, it really, uh, the question is really, uh, effect, uh, she's great. The answer is seen the article in the story. The answer is right there. Okay. Why was she it's, concerned? She, she, turned, she turned her test and left the last question in blank. So then why did mm -hmm. she, why was she concerned? Because she, Because she turned. Uh huh. Continue. In her test. I left the last question blank. And she left. So you can reduce this. You can summarize it because she left. Last question, blank. last question, blank. Is that better? I think so. Yes, now how did the professor answer the student who raised his hand? You want to see it? The phrase was, yes, uh, there will be many people who would sit there. <laughs> More important. Yes. At the very least, you should know the names. There. Do you have any questions, guys? No questions. Maria, Denia. I, I have. What is a struggling or? I mean, it's, uh, yes, it's struggling. When you are with 
fighting against something. Oh, okay. By fighting. Yes, having but, problems. But not literally. Having difficulties with. Yes. But why was she struggling? Do yes. you remember, Maria Fernanda? Why was because, she struggling? Because she missed some classes. Because she missed some classes. Very good. So now, now this will be for a later time, a later moment. Let's go with sequencing events. When did each event below happen? On the day of the test? B or before the day of the test? B. Write D or B and what do you notice about the verbs? So number one, the professor gave us a test. Did that happen on the day of the test or before? On the day of D. the test. D, letter D. Letter D, okay. Number two, D or B? B. B. Number three. D. 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 Number four. D. The day of the test, right? So what we have is that the professor gave us the test that was on the day of the test. Very good. And I felt pretty confident that was the day of the test. But he had told us to expect it. That was before the day of the test. And I had been struggling with the class before the day of the test, correct? Okay, now tell me what's the difference? We have two Ds and we have two Bs. What is the difference? The verb. The tenses. The tenses. What's the difference with the tenses? Simple past and past perfect. Past perfect. Simple past and the past, past perfect. perfect. That's right. There, sort of like that. Okay, guys. Now we're using the past perfect and the present and the simple past. Use the simple past for two or more events that are part of the same past time period. So the simple past, you can have two events, but these two events, if past event plus past event, happened at the same time. For example, he raised his hand and asked a question. Yeah, that happened at the same time. Hey, teacher, I have a question. Yes? Or another example. I sat on my sofa and turned on the TV. It happened at the same moment. Yes? Okay. We have the past perfect for an event that is part of a time period before another event in the past. Again, we have two events. We have event past event number one and past event number two. What is the difference? They are not in the same moment. They are in different times. They're both in the past, but one was on Saturday and the other was, was on Wednesday. Yes, they're both in the past on different times. So we have earlier past event and past event. So we can say last week, oh my gosh, last week we took the exam. But he had told us to expect it the previous week. He had told us to expect a test. We took it last week. There you go. 
So this already is giving us the last week, last week. So to the first sentence, we can say the week before. He had told us to expect the test the week before. We took it last week there. The next thing we have is past perfect continuous for background, ongoing, or temporary events. So basically is for background. So we have the ongoing earlier past event and the past event again two different events in different times. One of them was a continuing, a uh, recurring event. For example, I had been struggling. Why? Because it happened all semester. But on the day of the test, she felt confident. Okay, so I can show you this like this. I had been struggling is uh, the earlier event and felt confident is the simple past event right there. So I had been struggling means it's an event that happened for a longer time, but it ended right before the following event. So she had been struggling up until the day of the test and the day of the test, she felt confident. People often use the past perfect to give reasons or explanations. I didn't know her name because I had never thought to ask her. So we have the past perfect, simple past, past perfect continuous and past continuous. Would you like to see an example? Yes. Of course. Oh my gosh. There. Simple past. The power went out. Past, past continues. I was eating dinner. Past perfect. I had gone home. Past perfect continues. It had been raining. Now let's take a look at some sentences. Here I have a man eating dinner. So I was eating dinner. This is past continuous. And the power went out. What is this? Simple past. Simple past. Because it had been raining all day. What is this? Um, past perfect continuous. So this past perfect continuous finished before this event. Yes? Yes, teacher. I have a question. Jeff. Yes, mister. Uh, so I was eating dinner is a past perfect continuous too. Past perfect continuous? Why? Oh no, oh no, it's a simple past. No, I oh. was eating dinner, it's not simple past. It's eating ING. The yes. power went out and was eating dinner is right here. Past continuous. I was eating dinner and the power went out. So what is I was eating dinner? It's past. What, what what kind of the past is I was eating it? I'm um, past perfect continuous. Past continuous. Past okay. continuous. Okay. Yeah, because you have been raining all day. Would you like to see another example? Yes, please. All right. Now we have the past continuous. Past perfect, simple past, past continuous, and past perfect continuous. What do you see in the, in the picture? Uh, sure cleaning. What? Roma. Cleaning. cleaning. A woman cleaning. So I was cleaning the house. What is that? Past continuous. Past continuous. Past continuous. Yesterday. 
Yesterday. We have a time expression. When I found the keys, when simple I found, past. what is that? Simple past. Why simple past? Because they were. Because, no. Because, yesterday. Uh, because yesterday. it's yesterday. Because of the time expression, a specific time, time in the past. Yesterday. So I was cleaning the house yesterday when I found the keys. My brother had lost. Why had lost? Yes. Past perfect. So we have this event. I was cleaning the house when I found the keys, right? So this is this. Simple past and past continuous. But then why in the bottom we have had lost? Why? Past perfect because this event happened before. Before past, yes. It happened before this event, correct? Okay. Guys, is that better? Yes. Okay. Yes. More examples? Yes, please. The last month. So this was yesterday, but last month means before yesterday. This was last month, right? Do you see that? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now, expresses a past action already finished when another, etc., etc., etc. Can you read, please, uh, Natividad? I met them after they had divorced each other. Yeah, so let's talk about um, uh, last month was May. Let's talk about May and February. So, what events do we have here in this example? Talk about what teacher sorry? No. In the event in the example you just read, what events okay. do we have? What events? We have I met them. And what is the other event? They, they had divorce. So what happened in May last month? One more time, hold on. This is used for the example. Okay, so we have this. February and May. So what happened in February? They had the book. Oh, yes. So divorce happened in February? Right. And what happened in May? I met them. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, there yes. you go. Yes, because uh, uh, they uh, had divorces in February. So it's in the past. It's after. In the past. It's before. Before, uh, before the, the, uh, I, I met them. them after. Before I met them, yes. OK, there you go. Let's continue like that, please. The next one is? Can you read, please, Fernanda? Which one, teacher? Ah, uh, that one. I had been to London twice by the time I got a job in New York. Okay, so what are the events? 
been to London. I have been to London. And? And got a job. Got a job. So what happened in February? He got a job. February, a job? And May, what happened in May? Uh, I had been to London twice. So I had been to London twice is the most recent event. And I got a job is the previous event. Mm. I think it's first. I have been to London twice. So what do you mean is first? Morning. So what happened in February? I have been I have been to London twice. So in February is London twice. And in May? Got a job. Got a job. There you go. Okay, next. Can you read, please, Daniel? Are you there? What about you, uh, uh, Evan? Can you read? Yes. Ah, yes, continue. I couldn't take my flight because I had forgotten my boarding pass. So what are the events? I can um, take my flight. That would be incomplete, Mr. The event is couldn't take my flight. And the um, other one? I had for, forgotten for my starting, boarding pass. My boarding All right. Now let's talk about Sarah. Ready? Wait. Ten a.m. Ten p.m. There. What happened at ten a.m.? Uh, forgotten the. I forgot my boarding pass. What happened at ten p.m.? Didn't take my flight. Maria, are you there? Because you're a little quiet. Sorry, teacher. Because someone entered to my bedroom. What? Sorry. Because someone interrupted me in my bedroom. Okay. You are, are you are okay? Please, please? Yeah, yeah. It's just my sister and her dog. Okay, okay. Then uh, let's continue with the next one. Let's see. Uh, Emanuel, can you read this, please? The next one? Yes. Um, Sarah had been working here for two weeks when she had the accident. All right, mister. Now I'm going to help you with this. Look, this is the timeline. Present, past, and, and I'm sorry. Present, future, and past. So we have two events. Yes. What are the events? Um, Sarah had uh, been working. And Sarah uh, had been working. And uh -huh. another one um, when she had uh, the accident. She had the accident. Perfect. Now it says two weeks. That yeah. means that this is this time span is two weeks. Yes. <clears throat> so we can say something like this. If today is May 1st, I'm sorry, it's June 1st, 
then we can say that this was May uh, 29th, let's say 29th. And two weeks before that is May 15th. Yes, and that there, there are two weeks right there. Do you agree or you don't agree? I agree. Emmanuel? Yes. Um, yes? Two weeks. So May. what happened on uh, May 15th and what happened on May 29th? Uh, May, May 15th, mm -hmm. uh, Sarah had been working. And uh, No. On May 15th, Sarah started. No. Sarah, oh, okay. Sarah started... Um, Working. Sarah or her new job. And that's on May 15th. Okay. Correct? Yes. And what happened on May 29th? Uh, she had the accident. Yeah, yes. Is that better? Yes. Very. Guys, how do, you, how do you feel? Is that better? Yes, well. Fernanda? Yes, teacher. Denia? I, I think so. she's not. Yes, I'm here, but I have uh, to yes. I'm... What? Okay. Estoy regañando a los niños. <laughs> <laughs> Tengo los niños y a veces Ay, hablan y no puedo prender mi micrófono porque hacen ruido. I, I understand. I, I know what you mean. I have to lock my door because my kids will just barge in with the marching band and everything. Yeah. And I'm a little worried because my little cat jumped off the floor. So she fell to the first floor and she's hurt. I have a dog too. Oh my God, no. Yeah, I know. Okay, now let's see. Fernanda, can you read that one, please? Okay, Richard needed a holiday because he has been working hard for six months. There, would you like to see the time the, the timeline to, to check that example? I yes think this no? is easiest oh, than sorry. the other, but if you want. All right, what about uh, the rest of you guys? What do you say? You want to see the, the timeline or can you tell me what events Happened when? So Richard okay, needed teacher. Richard needed a holiday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. working uh, hard. For so give me an, an example. When did each event happen? Give me some some references. Uh, maybe Richard start uh started um. The um, uh, January or uh, December, uh -huh. uh, he he had uh, he had work or he, he worked at car about the, for, for six months. Yeah. So now uh, Richard uh, are tired and he need a holiday. Close, Mister. Close. The last part you said it in present. So everything you said, your whole idea is correct. The only difference is that we're talking about the past. Everything is in the past. So we can say that last month in May, oh. Richard needed a holiday because he worked since, well, let's count, October, November, December, January, February, March, maybe not October, maybe November. November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, is that correct? So he started working in November. November, November December, January, February, March, April. So he worked for six months and on May, he needed a vacation, a holiday, correct? Just to correct. That was great, guys. And the last one. I had been traveling all night, so I was tired. 
Let's see the trivia. Can you explain to us this little but this little example? Yes, for example, um, I had been traveling uh, maybe on, on Monday last night. Okay, Sorry, on funny. Monday or okay. all night on, on Monday. And okay, last night? And maybe today in the, in the morning I was, I was tired. Perfect. Yeah, yes. so this morning oh my God. I was tired <laughs> because all Monday night I was driving. Yes, yes guys? Denia, Emmanuel, Fernanda? Sí, yes. Yes. Excellent. Let's continue, guys. All right, I have this little exercise for you. Work as a team. The verbs are there. You have to figure it out what time tense. Simple present, simple past, past continuous, past perfect or past perfect continuous. Would you like a little help? Well, it could be like present, like whatever tense or only past. Awesome. For example, here, Tom Williams, verb B, 16 years old in 1940. So yes. what do we have? 1940. Was. Tom Williams was. Was. Perfect. Tom Williams was. Lived. Continue, guys. 16 years old. He lived. Yes. He lived. There, continue, please. Work as a team all together. I'll give you three minutes. I will be right back, okay? Okay. okay. With his family in a small house in Liverpool. Dom, I think it's has. Had a job. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah like simple person. Had a job. Somebody want to if you read the answer? It, if you can write it, please, because I'm in the cell phone and I can't do that. Okay, I will. I will. I can. Okay, thank you. He, Tom had, he had been working. Uh, yeah. Since he. Yep, Tom had a working. job. He. Had, uh -huh, yeah. He. Had he had. He had working. been. He had been working. Working. He there. Had been working. Uh -oh, there. Or past perfect continuous. Was working. Okay. He had been working. I guess one day, Tom. He was. He uh huh. He was. Since he was fourteen. Tom. Tom. One day, had Tom walked. was walking. I think it is was walking like past continuous. I don't know if you agree. Like one day, Tom was walking along the factory when he... He met? Mm -hmm. Yes. When he met Katie. Katie. Oh, Katie. Very younger than Tom. And... Was... Was walking. Was younger. Mm -hmm. And, and he, he had Katie. been... Uh, no, he had he had been staying uh, perfect younger than Tom and is past, is past she, perfect or past perfect continue uh and she had stayed she had she had stayed yeah, yeah. Katie was at her door and Kerry Kerry was uh uh okay she had she had to stay Katie uh thought Kerry was younger Katie was younger than Tom yeah was younger was. than Tom and and she had stayed she had stayed she had stayed. Stay. Uh huh. She had. Uh huh. 
with her since, mother. With her aunt. Since her mother died. Her mother died. Uh huh. Tom was. Tom was mm -hmm. surprised. Um, uh, there is no verb, so I don't know Two what. in the morning. Two. To see her? Maybe? To see her? To see? So early, uh-huh, yeah. To early see in her. the morning. To see her. To see her so early to, in the morning. To meet her, maybe? Where? To meet her? Where are you going? Maybe. Where are the you line. going? The, the other line to see her maybe is to meet her. To meet her. Um okay, it could be. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. Well I the, think both the... are correct because because uh, it's uh, when because he, he met is... Katie. Katie. No, but in, in present, like double E. In present, eh? Sorry. Please, yes. Oh. To meet her. Mm. To meet her early in the morning. Where are you going? I think it's going. Because we have the verb to be, and when we have the verb to be, we need the ID. Yes, he asked. Mm -hmm. Yes, he asked. He asked to Smith's house. She replied, but in Reply. simple past, replied. I think it's repliet. Like reply it, but it is repliet. Uh huh. They. Okay. They have. Um, I I'm confused in okay. here. Maybe they. They offer. They offer. They offer. Uh huh. Yeah. In they offer. That's it. Okay. Very good, guys. Really good. Everything is correct except one. Let's correct it. The reason why this is not in, in simple uh, past perfect is because we have since and yes is in the, is a previous past in the past, but you think you have micro noise. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So since her mother died, so. Is this a completed event? It was finished before she met Tom? Or it was still happening when she met Tom? It's still happening. So it was, had been. Okay. Yes. Had been staying? Had been staying, yes. There, everything else is great. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Thank you, Fernanda. Manuel, Denny, and Natividad, do you have any questions? No, teacher, everything is okay. Thank it's you. okay. All right, now complete the anecdote with the verbs given. Use one simple past and one past perfect verb in each sentence. Okay, let's see. Right before I met 
That's it, guys. Can you do it? <laughs> or you don't want to? Um, um, right before uh, I move here. Like simple past. I lost my job. I had lost my job. I think it's like right before I moved here, I had lost my job. Are I you didn't have, have, uh -huh. didn't have an interview for weeks. And I was concerned. Uh -huh. You know. You know. And I. Okay. Um. I know. I didn't. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't. Uh, I, I work. Had, I hadn't had an interview for weeks, and I was concerned. Yes, maybe yes. I hadn't. I hadn't had. Yeah. Maybe I, I think four both weeks. sound good, but I maybe hadn't, it hadn't have. I hadn't had. Okay, you know I. Um. Uh, I don't know if it is. I didn't think, or I hadn't thought. Oh. I thought. I had. I had to. It's a. It's a simple past, no? Oh yeah, so, maybe. Um, uh -huh. And I back. thought about going back to school, but actually, I, I didn't want to. Or oh. maybe I had. You say about going back to school. Oh, I said, I think it's. I had to thought about so about going back to school, but actually, but actually I didn't I, want to. I didn't want to. Then, yeah, I it's the I same know. sentence in the in another line, and I had to. <laughs> I had in contact in ages. I got an email. So about going back to school, but actually I didn't want to. And then out of the blue, I got an email from an old friend that I had in contact in ages. I got, I, I, I um, I had it. I had him. I had in contact. contact. So finish guys? No, here's um Get lost. One more. I had him. Oh, it's moved the other one. Yeah. That's it. I think yes. All right. Are you finished? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Last now. line. On this one right here, you have two answers. You don't know, right? You're not sure. So that's why you put them there, correct? So let's right. verify each one of them, one by one. The first thing I want to point out to you is 
reading the instructions. Complete the anecdote with the verbs given. Use one simple past and use one past perfect in each sentence. So right here we have one sentence, that's one. And in this sentence, we need to use one simple past and one past perfect. Past perfect. So mm -hmm. I, I have here moved, had lost. Okay, so far Very so good. Perfect. Now let's see if they are in the correct spot or they are in the cross spot. It says right before, well, we have two events, right? Moved here. So we can say that this is simple. This event. This, I don't know which event, right? I don't know which event. So simple let's go over here. I don't know which event it is, but let's see. It says right before I moved. So this event, lose my job, happened when? To the before. right or to the left? To the left. It happened to the left, right? So that means that this event is in simple past. So it's correct. Very good. So if this is simple past, then this is past perfect. perfect. So that is correct, guys. Very good job. Let's continue. Right there, and let's do one more. There, that's another sentence. One more time, in this sentence, we need to have what? One in simple past and one in? Past perfect. Past perfect. So you have here, I was concerned. I hadn't have or I didn't have an interview for weeks. So I have. What event is first and what event is later? So here we have the examples. This, I have one event right here. I don't know which one it is. And the other event, I don't know which one it is. So we need to discern. I have an interview is... Um... It's previous, no? What happened in the past? In the past of the past? Concerned or not interviews? Not interviews. Not interviews, right? And the other one is concerned. So concern is correct. Yes, I was concerned. But not have interviews. Hadn't have and didn't have. Is didn't have correct? No. 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 Let's take out didn't have. Had and have, is had and have correct? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Had and have, no. Put the structure. The structure is had plus. Have plus with the, but the verb is in participle. The verb is in participle, and this one is in simple form. I'm so so I'm it's sorry. had and had. There you go, okay? Yes, guys? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now let's continue. Let's see. And we have the last one. The last sentence, which is right here. But I can't, how can I do this? I'm going to cover the other one so it's easier to see. Right there. Once again, one in simple past and one in past perfect. So, and then out of the blue, I got an email from an old friend that I had in contact. Okay, this correct, except the verb. The verb needs to be in? Past. Perfect. Past participle. So what it's missing? It's missing the ending. The ED? 
The ED, yes, because it's a regular verb. So I hadn't contacted in ages. Everything else was okay, guys. Thank you very much. How was the class? Yes. Uh, really good. Really good for me. Denia, Emanuel, what do you think? Really good. Uh, All right, I'm gonna send you this slide right here on the screen as homework. This will be homework and this one. This will be homework as well. Okay. okay. But I'll send you this one too. That will be three and four. And that's it. All those four. Okay, teacher. All right, guys. Okay. Do you have any questions? For now. No. Well, thank you very much, guys. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Thank you, mister.